to propose the toast to the forwards, we have former Wallaby winger and fullback Cameron Shepherd, who these days is a commentator on club, club rugby TV's Shoot Shield coverage. Cameron played nine tests for the Wallabies, 80 super rugby matches for the Waratahs and the Western Force. Ladies and gentlemen, Cameron Shepherd. I've got to be honest, when uh, Chairman John Fordham asked me to do this today, I thought about coming from a slightly different angle to you just heard, so um, if it does come across a little aggressive, I do apologise in advance. <laughs> it's just so many people in the room that I could have a go at. Matt Dunning, don't avoid me, mate. I've been at the brunt of a few of yours lately. You're at the top of the list. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cameron Shepherd, and as you can tell by my boyish good looks, straight nose, perfectly formed ears, full contingent of teeth, and the ability to construct a sentence, I am indeed a back. <laughs> Thank you, as I said, to the chairman of the Cauliflower Club and old friend John Fordham. Uh, I've been waiting for this opportunity to hang shit on, Ford, uh, on forwards with a microphone for about 16 years, and uh, I'll tell you what, not even Louise Heron could get me down from this podium today. For the forwards in the room, she's the chief executive of the Opera House. It's just a, a joke on, <laughs> on things that are happening in the world today. Anyway, that's funny, just so you know. Um, now, look, it'd be so easy to poke fun at some of my portly, dim-witted former teammates. Speaking of former teammates, can we get that turned down, Phil? The shine off your head is horrific. Just <laughs> shave it off, mate. Fitzy? Come and have a chat with him. But as I said, so easy to, uh, to have a jab at a few of these guys. So let's start with the easiest target of all, Matthew Dunning. A lesson for all you forwards out there, be careful when you lose too much weight. You could lose your personality as well. <laughs> it's also important to remember losing weight doesn't fix horrible facial injuries and bone structure. A lesson Matty also learnt the hard way. We've got the great Peter Fitzsimons in the house. Big round of applause for Fitzy. Quite incredible what he's done with uh, Nick Far Jones and the Cauliflower Club and everyone else involved. So on a serious note, massive congratulations to you all and, and thank you so much for having me here today to uh, deliver this toast. Fitzy, very successful in your own right. Don't go anywhere, mate. I need you in, uh, in my eyesight. Uh, you know, all the books he's written, obviously we read his, uh, his column in the Sydney Morning Herald and to think he does all those drafts in crayon, just uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, one of the sponsors you forgot, John, was uh, Crayola, so <laughs> thanks for your amazing support uh, as we move forward. And look, the great thing about forwards, I think, is the fact that they can go out on the field as a group and watch other people that are really good at the game perform successfully. And, you know, I always wanted to put a show on for these guys. And uh, as I thought about it, it was very much like the draft horse and the farmer. You know, the horse walks around slowly the field all day, you know, grunting, sweating, saliva coming from its mouth. And uh, the farmer telling him what to do and, uh, and working him around. And then at the end of the day, after they've both worked their rings out, the horse goes off to the barn to sleep with the rest of the animals and the farmer <laughs> goes inside, he gets a shower, clean pair of clothes, nice warm meal. Then he goes upstairs and makes love to his wife. Twice. <laughs> the thing about forwards that I love the most is they actually think they're happy doing what they're doing. It's incredible how delusional they are. And on that note, they tell you they don't mind that they're all cumbersome and slow. They tell you that being big and dopey is the way to go. They tell you they have better things to do than scoring tries, like drinking beer, eating chips, and scoffing down meat pies. They'll say they don't care that their triple XL shorts look tight, or that their ugly faces give young kids a nasty fright. They'll tell you that they love it when they're caught in rucks and malls and tell you that they don't mind at all if they never touch the ball. They'll say they're at their happiest when pushing in a scrum. 
They'll swear they love it, having their head shoved up a teammate's bum. <laughs> if you call them stupid, they'll say they don't care. Then tell you chicks love guys who stink and look more like a bear. But deep down, we all know that they're simply telling lies. They wish they had a sidestep and less chafe between the thighs. They wish they had good hygiene, used shampoo and gelled their hair. Wish they had a manicure and practiced good skincare. They wish they were skinny, wish they had more skill and grace, wish God gave them hamstrings and an extra yard of pace. <laughs> With the, wish the ladies liked them for their looks and nothing more, wish they could play a game and not be one bit sore. And while they'll tell you otherwise, we know that all this is true, and so we raise our glass to each and every one of you. For all your protestations and endless jibes and flack, deep down we know all forwards wish they were a back. Stand up and uh, all the backs, a salute to the forwards.